Welcome to the Chomp Man tutorial series. With all our ghost prefabs now created, we'll make our final and perhaps most important change to our ghost AI. So we can see currently, while our blue ghost will come close, he won't actually touch the player. Additionally, if we increase our values for our blue ghost behavior, our blue ghost will stay even farther away from the player. First, we need to first go into the character prefab folder and select one of our ghosts. So we'll go into the chase state in the movement super state for our blue ghost. And we need to add a vector three lerp or linear interpolation node. Linear interpolation involves getting a new value by estimating a point between two values. So in this instance, we're going to use the output value from our ghost behavior and player position. And for the second value, we're going to use the value of our player position. And for our interpolation value, we're going to go 0.5. And we're going to then connect that value into our target. So before we continue, let's first test this out in our game. And since we specifically want to see the actions for the blue ghost, so for now we can go into our state machine and we can disable all of our ghosts except our blue ghost. Right now, because our values are so high, it doesn't seem that the blue ghost is able to reach the player. We can easily fix this by increasing the interpolation value, which will allow us to put much higher numbers in our ghost behavior value and still allow the ghost to find and attack the player. Using our linear interpolation node allows our blue ghost to reach our player no matter the values we place in our behavior vector 3. To further demonstrate this, Let's also use the alert node for our orange ghost as well. And we could see both our blue ghost and our orange ghost took totally opposite paths when trying to reach the player. And while each ghost's goal for the player position is still the same, the way of reaching that position is no longer the same for each ghost. With that in mind, let's place a linear interpolation node in our last two remaining ghosts, our pink ghost and our red ghost. And though traditionally the red ghost usually takes the most direct route to the player, this allows us to make changes to his behavior without fear that he will no longer target the player.
We can see that our ghosts now act more as a team and will try to reach the player from multiple angles. At this point, we can begin playtesting and trying to refine the values for each ghost behavior without fear that these values will no longer allow the ghost to attack the player. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, interviews, and free game asset giveaways.